Hello and welcome to Kaya Sport TV. My name is Soto Mayer. Now, six months ago, KPMG launched a new running club, and you might ask yourself, why exactly is that important? Well, that's because they sponsor a running program at a school which has become synonymous with unearthing amazing talent. And if those kids don't make it onto the running field, then they have other plans for them because they put them through their structures in corporate KPMG. So it basically means that it's a win-win situation for everyone. Let's take a look at how this program works. Six months ago, KPMG unveiled their new running club. The club is divided into three parts. Social running for the company's employees, elite athletes including the likes of Nolene Conrad, as well as Development Academy run in conjunction with the Fuerentu High School in Auckland Park. This week, we were invited to the unveiling of KPMG's new group of elite athletes. Athletics administrators, members of the media, as well as friends and family descended on the financial services company's headquarters in Parktown to hear the news that comrades and Two Oceans Marathon champion Caroline Vossman, as well as Christine Kalmer, the younger sister of Renee, an excellent runner in her own right, would be running for KPMG in 2016. But more importantly, the success of the Fuerentu Academy means that runners such as Dumisang Munnatala, who started in the academy, have now graduated to KPMG's elite running squad. Dumisang, who participated in the 3,000-meter steeplechase at the World Championships in China last year, says the running academy has changed his life and he's now looking forward to qualifying for the Olympics, where he'll hope to break the Kenyan dominance in the event. Because like I was like some bad friends. It's like it's 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 Another recruit from the Fuerentu Academy is 800-meter runner Tandise Hotle, who says she's looking forward to 2016 because she believes that she will run under 206 at the SA Senior Track and Field Championships and has also started a new job in the marketing department at KPMG. I started running at the age of six years, which is I was in primary. And then since from now, and then I started to achieve my goals last year in 2015. Yeah, I was doing my uh, my metric in 4 and 2, and then now I'm working for KPMG. I started yesterday. This year I'm a senior, I'm going to run with them, but uh, I'm a little bit, bit scared, but uh, I know that if I can train hard and focus on my training, I can do all my best that I can. I'm looking to run 208, 206, and then uh, next year is the time where I must take a big step looking forward to run to two, two, four. Clearly a holistic approach to sport where education and future employment form a central part. KPMG's head of marketing, Pierre Jacobs, explains the rationale. What I'm trying to build, or what we are trying to build at KPMG, with the, the academy, our mainstream club for employees and alumni, as well as our elite uh, squad, is a family. So I want the, uh, the, the teachers involved, I want the coaches involved, the family members involved, the parents, so there's a nice atmosphere. And I think, you know, you mentioned everybody's not going to the Olympics, but if we keep, keep and grow a deep love for the sport, support them, and they're part of something special, they will continue to run, be it in the spa areas or elsewhere, the Comrades, the Two Oceans, they will continue. And so for me, that's important to create an atmosphere where people would love to come to where they want to be part of, train, run and stay in the sport. A great model of how all top running clubs in South Africa should be structured. Musibudi Whitehead, Kaya Sport TV. Well done KPMG. We certainly hope that corporate South Africa follows in your footsteps. Until next time, it's goodbye.